Yeah, my name is Sinjana Chauhan. I'm from Maharashtra. I'm 2024 pass out. I have completed my B.Tech in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering from Kolhapur Institute of Technology, Maharashtra. What were your childhood dreams and aspirations? Yeah, my childhood career aspiration was to, I wanted to become an officer in Indian uh, uh, defense. But uh, due to some health issue, I had to leave that flat. So during my uh, last year, I decided to do my career in embedded systems. Why did you choose embedded systems and why did you join MRZ? As uh, my background is uh, electronics and telecommunication engineer, I'm familiar with the, all the embedded related co subjects. So that's why I decided to join the embedded system course. So I got to know about this institute from uh, social media. So by seeing the placements on all the things, I decided to join the MLC. What was the hardest part you faced when you started learning this program? I joined this course with zero coding knowledge. I don't had any knowledge about the C programming. This course really helped me with the programming knowledge. My course started with the basic C2 advanced C. Uh, working with assignments and projects helped me a lot to gain my coding experience and problem solving approach along with the all uh, other uh, core knowledge about the microcontrollers and Linux systems. Was there a time you felt like giving up? What kept you motivated? Uh, as soon as I completed my course, so we were doing nothing, we were not attending any classes. So simply just uh, surviving daily, doing studies and getting uh, uh, applying for companies, uh, getting shortlisted, not getting selected. So if you are not getting selected, means you will uh, gain some self-doubts. Am I lagging somewhere? Am I, I don't have knowledge? Am I not deserving this? So these kind of things will, uh, will start happening after completion of the course. But the main thing is you should keep in, in your mind like you have to get a job as uh, you have come uh, across all the path. You have learned a lot of things that will be worth it one day. So you should keep going on for it. How did you overcome this stage? I started uh, facing this difficulty. I contacted mentors in this institute. Mentors gave me some schedule, like how to study, what to study, for a particular company, how to study, what they require, what they want. Some, like, uh, they told me to work on the problem-solving approach because the, all the premium, premium companies are asking for the problem-solving approaches. This, they gave me some schedule. I followed it, I worked on it, and yeah, I got the job. How did MRZ's course structure help you understand complex topics and projects? So basically, MRZ course structure goes from basic to advanced. Basic in the C, then after C, D, S. These are the basic concepts. In microcontroller, we are using embedded C. So as we know C earlier, it is easy to learn the embedded C also. And then Linux. Linux also uses the C language only. So this course structure is very uh, well structured to learn the things uh, basics to advance how the like uh, what industries wants and what they actually require at what point did you start to feel confident that you have become industry ready in mxc i work with several projects about 10 projects so while working with this project i got some confidence i have some knowledge and i can work with the industry uh, mega projects we can say how did projects shape your understanding of embedded systems? While working with the projects, we use a lot, uh, lot of concepts what we were taught by our uh, uh, mentors. Like in microcontrollers, we are using protocols. In Linux, we are using some uh, communication protocols. In C, we are using some uh, data structures. So like that, we actually applied all these uh, concepts in our projects. So like this, we will get some experience about the, how the embedded system works and uh, what is the uh, main thing is needed in the projects. Like this, I, I got to know how the embedded system works. Did assignments and projects influence your interview performance? Yeah, because the uh, assignments and projects are the only way to gain the knowledge about the coding. So as soon as you are uh, uh, like I'm uh, performing more assignments, more projects, I get some more knowledge, some uh, experience we can say because these projects add some weightage to your resume and interviewer will ask only about that only. So you have that advantage to tell about your experience, whatever you have done in your assignments and projects. What advice would you give to beginners 
aspiring in embedded systems who feel uncertain so while uh, when you are going to join this course you might not be having any knowledge about any module but the main thing that you should be serious from the starting itself you should clear all of your concepts whenever you are having any doubts you should clear that day only don't keep your any doubts and keep doing the all of the assignments and projects by your own and don't copy anything and try to learn by yourself get some more knowledge do more problem solving coding what does securing a job at lg soft mean to you looking back on your journey it is the most best thing happened to me after the this much long journey because i have waiting for this opportunity from long time from starting itself i decided like i decided i want to join the lg soft and so i worked on it and i got it what's the one do and one don't you advise anyone succeed in their career one do is a consistency and one don't is don't lose your confidence and patience What's next for you in your career? Yeah, so now uh, as I have joined as a research engineer, I will be learning some new technologies. So I will be gaining some knowledge about the new technologies and yeah, I will make my career in that field. Only.